How's it going, everybody? I am Donut. This is, as always, a Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, you can get the fuck off this channel. This is Gantz. Perfect answer. Now, again, I had already reacted to this movie about two years ago. I don't remember a fucking thing about it, so we're doing a fresh reaction to it. Uh, again, I lost my reaction to it, which is, you know, why I don't fucking remember anything, because I never edited it or anything, and so it went right in and right out. Never thought about it again. Uh, again, I remember not particularly liking this one that much, uh, but I think that's also because I went off of the last one, which was the best anime adaptation I've ever seen in my entire life, into this, which is more of its own thing. Not very one-to-one -one at all. You know, it, it, I remember it, it diverges quite heavily. So, we're going to be going into this with a more open mind. That's always how I like to go into these kind of adaptations to begin with, but the first one hyped me up so much that I had a lot of huge expectations for this one to see how they were going to end it off. Of course, you know, my expectations were far, 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 far too high. So we're going to rein those back. This is going to be an original thing, an original ending, but I hope, like, like me, you are interested in seeing the end of these mysteries, what is going on, what this director wants to tell with this Gantz story. Uh, I, it, again, I remember it's going to be a lot of original storyline in this one. There was Kato at the end of the last one in the crowd there with the detective. Uh, what's up with that? I don't quite remember, but uh, it seems, seems like I didn't catch that the first time. Yeah, let's jump into this one. If you want to see the reaction, check out the full length reaction in the description below. It's picture in picture, no syncing up required. Just go check it out. And uh, if you like it, go on the Patreon for my Gantz manga reactions. I, I have reactions to the entire manga from start to finish. Probably some of the best reactions I've ever done, period. Uh, also, some of the spin-offs are coming on the channel and everything like that. They're, they're coming soon. Uh, or, or on the Patreon. Can't do them on YouTube because of their Shueisha-owned series. And every time I have put a reaction to a Shueisha-owned series on YouTube, it has got my channel taken down. So, not risking that. It's only on the Patreon. I'm sorry. Let's get into this movie. Check it out in the description below. Okay, I don't want to do a super long discussion or anything, because, um, you know, these anime adaptations, I don't really like to, uh, like them to be as easy as possible, but I uh, still want to talk about some stuff. So, like, the new characters in this, the original characters, we had quite a lot of original characters, and I don't know, I, I liked the idea of them, but I didn't quite like any of them in a point where they stood out. Nobody really stood out. Some of their designs stood out, and that's what I'll remember about them, their, their character designs, but, like... I, I, they said their name plenty of times, but I don't remember any of their names, and just, they, they stood out as a group of the, like, specifically, the three, uh, ones that were, like, veterans as well. They kind of stood out as a group of three, but not, like, individually. And it's a movie with a lot of characters in it, so that's not, uh, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just talking about the new characters, there's not really any that stood out to me. Once I realized as well that the detective was the, like, reporter that I had heard that the second movie was about, I or, like, you know, the, the, um, whichever one took place in between this or was basically a retelling of the first movie that I've talked about before, uh, I might actually watch it at some point just to figure out what the fuck that was, not as a reaction or anything, unless there's, unless somebody wants there to be, but I highly doubt anybody does, but either way, um, yeah, I thought that the guy with glasses was the the reporter character but it, it, it hit me in this fucking movie near the very end it was like okay no 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 that he is uh the, the old man like he has the same name as him and everything i assume that's supposed to be him it maybe isn't he's very different but the wife thing as well makes me think that you know he is uh, but yeah, very strange adaptation of that character, extremely strange, especially having him almost kill fucking Taie there, because that is so out of character for him. Uh, the, the fact that he is the old man, and they didn't just give him a different name and a little bit of a different backstory and stuff like that, is a little bit weird. That's the only thing I don't really like, because that character was completely useless throughout the entire series, even in the second movie, he, he was pointless, didn't, didn't give a shit about him. Uh, but, you know, I, I, maybe they could have done something different with him if they actually gave a shit. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, again, none of the characters really stood out in any meaningful way to me. Uh, the, now, 
are villains. Uh, like, Cannon obviously stood out to play. Cannon being uh, Kato being possessed. Cannon being the thousand-armed alien. Um, yeah, th- th- you know, Cannon has a lot of personality and also takes on, a, like, you know, a lot of personality we never saw in the beginning, or in the manga. They sort of had Cannon also be what the shorty alien boss was, you know, coming to the real world to, to attack them and stuff like that and, and taking the form of somebody else in a different way with Cannon, though. But yeah, so that was, you know, an intimidating villain, having those two, the Thousand Arm Alien and the Shorty Alien together in, like, one character made them very, very intimidating. I will say a lot less intimidating physically just because one, like, they're not in the Thousand Arm form, and also just, you know, they're more investigative right now rather than, like, going after them all. So, you know, uh, it wasn't wasn't as intimidating in that form, but still, it, it carried a little bit of that, and it, just having, you know, aliens in the real world, uh, like, you know, in their daily lives, I should say, that is, you know, terrifying in its own right. But then we have the vampires, the girl with the ball, our Izumi character, uh, a much, much, much better Izumi character, like her so much more. She's really the standout role of the movie, I think, as well as the main vampire. But the main vampire, he was just like, a st- like his acting was very good. Um, but, uh, and a lot of that was like in just the way he moved and like his, his hair and makeup as well was very well done. Uh, and, and, you know, that conversation he had with uh, the reporter, with the detective. So yeah, like he, you know, he stood out a lot, but I would say even then the girl stood out way more. Uh, and yeah, she, that was an interesting kind of thing to do because like, you know, Izumi was a villain, but then they quickly were just like, okay, now he's just here as a part of the team. Uh, which I hated, but whatever. Uh, so I like that this girl, like, was, like, an actual, uh, not, be, how, how do I put it? Like, she is being controlled by it, almost, and, like, doesn't, isn't quite aware of what she's doing, but then also knows that she's not gonna get out of it because of how supernatural it is, so it's just going along that way. A much, much, much better way to do that, I think. And yeah, just having the vampires in general, doing the vampires and the Shinjuku arc together, uh, is incredible and in, in fucking incredible what a great idea to do that together i can't like, once again i can't believe i completely fucking forgot they did both the vampires and the shinjuku massacre in this movie that feels like two things that would really stand out and stick with me but considering i reacted to the movie immediately lost my footage so i didn't even do a discussion of it and i just like it just immediately left my head the second i stopped doing it because i was so disappointed in not having it and then i never end up releasing any of those reactions. So, uh, you know, now being able to actually take it in and everything like that, uh, also my memory's just shit in general, but whatever, anything. Uh, I'm gonna say anyway, uh, the the last act felt like it went on for quite a, a bit too long, I would say. You know, that's, that's a little bit of a problem I have, if I could say one, you know, bad thing about it. But yeah, I would say like, the, the it, what felt like the last act was like, the second half of the entire movie and it was like we're going to like the third act part one third act part two third act part three <sighs> but yeah um i i really loved having Tai be uh, you know a major part of these two movies as well uh, again I, I think the first one is a lot better than this one but not like not to where i put this one you know super low on a on a rating scale or anything like that they, they did a great job with Kay and Tai's relationship. It's one of my favorite romantic relationships in any manga ever, if not my favorite. And uh, they, the movie did a great job of portraying that as well and how realistic it is and how uh, just good they are, how much chemistry they have together and everything like that. Really, really love that. Uh, and also Kato's actor did a great job with the amount of range that he was able to do in this role, being both Kato and the villain. Love me, love me, love me. Train fight scenes. I fucking love train fight scenes. So that was a pleasure and a half to see. Uh, and yeah, I, I, you know, again, I think it would have been dope to get a like a third part to this as well. Uh, you know, maybe with like a different ending and stuff like that, and 
to go into like the catastrophe arc and all that, uh, or at least go into maybe phase two or something. Uh, I mean, we got the Gantz Osaka movie, which is very nice, but uh, it would be cool if we got a movie for phase two and then another movie for phase three, maybe. I don't know. But either way, this movie was very good in its own right. I do like a little bit of epilogue that we got, seeing the characters just living their, their normal lives now and stuff like that. And that was very nice. And oh my god, the message at the end. Heartbreaking. The message of the fairgrounds. Absolutely fucking heartbreaking. Good god. Ugh. But okay. I will see you guys for whatever you guys decide to watch next. There should be some videos here on the sides or somewhere. Check those out. And yeah. See you guys next time.